Hello you. This is ha, 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 ha. And all because the lady loves milk tray, the advert went after that, but this is just called And All Because. Uh, and the cover, I, I know nothing about this, I, I just saw the title and all because and a bloke dressed in black jumping out of a, um, a cable car with what looked like a box of chocolates under his arm. I went, oh my god, I've got to play that. Uh, what's that? I've got, I've got no idea what it's going to be like, but they, 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 someone, the good old B&H, B&H again. I, I couldn't believe it when I was like, hang on, who was this? It, it was B&H, B&H again. Fag packet games, <laughs> just yeah. I, I it, it's not going to live up to what's in my head. I'm sure. Um, I mean, from just from that, I'm I'm thinking of that half the levels from Project IGI when you're on the cable cars and in the, the in the sniper in the snow in the mountains and that that was a good old game, Project IGI, wasn't it? That should have done so much better. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, I, I've got no idea. I mean, let's face it, with the, the Dragon's Palette, I, I'm going to be expecting to be delivering a lot of chocolate and limes. <laughs> just, just just, that, just lime, lime chocolates. That, that, there we go. Hmm. So, um, well, it appears to have loaded. It, 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 I was expecting it to come up with found and all because, but no, it found Milk Choc. <laughs> the game itself is called Milk Choc. So, uh, right, let's... Um, yeah. I have no idea. Let's turn tape on, then press enter. Oh dear. Oops. No, hang on, wrong one. Wrong one. I thought I'd better turn the volume down. Um, is this going to work? Copyright BNH software not really lent, copied or resold without. Re Please do not press break. And all because the lady loves milky chocks. <laughs> <laughs> Not milk tray. No, 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 no. Just generic. I don't know. Can you can you actually see that? Because that was on the viewfinder here. That just looked like a massive green and some flashy lights. Flashy lights are fun, but you do actually want to be able to see that, don't you? There you go. I think that looks okay. Maybe a touch closer. There. I think that'll do. But whether this is working now, I don't know. Because it's not actually loading anything at this point. I think I might need to uh, fire up the tape again. Um, on my phone here, and maybe play the next one. Um, maybe you should have pressed pause when it. Let, let's try second release and see what it does. Because there's first release and second release, and I have no idea. Um, or I could just start it again on this one. Um, no. Okay. Bear with me. I, I will start recording again when I've actually got it loaded properly. I wasn't expecting it to be in two parts like this. So um, I'll start again, I'll save you that much, and um, we'll see where we get. Back in a moment. Okay, we're back. That's an odd one. It, it loads to something like 1 minute 45, and you've got to press pause there quickly, and uh, then press start again, and then it loads in for another 20 seconds. Very, very strange. I wonder what's going on there. E to start, I for information, E to get... Oh, enter. E to give up. Right. So, I for information, please, because I know nothing about how to play this game. Information. To show your... I've got to turn these lights off. They're blinding me here. To show your devotion to your beloved, take her the milky chocolates before she arrives home. Extra points are gained for speed, but of course this may well increase the risk. Right. Doesn't really tell me how to play the game, though, does it? Aha! Information on stage one. Drive to light yellow area at top of maze as quickly as you can. Time is ticking away. Use the following keys. Right. Up is up. Shift is move right. Well, of course it is. I suppose you're using right and left. Down arrows move down. Why didn't you use left and right? There are left and right arrows. Why are you using shift and backslash? How bizarre. Up and down. And shift and right. Okay. Up and right and down, the same keys for that. Information on stage two. Run to light yellow area at top of screen, be quick, or you may have to go right around the mushrooms. Okay. Hmm. Ride cross country over the hedges on your trusty steed. Be careful with the larger fences. Up is jump and shift is faster. Righto. 
motorcycle safely past the dangerous drivers down to the ravine. You will need all your wits here. Up and down. <laughs> they actually got a they've got a picture of an arrow there to move up, and then down arrow is moved down. <laughs> there, there, there's no font. There's nothing in the font character set for a down arrow. They actually had to type down arrow. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Accelerate to jump the ravine on your powerful bike. Full speed is essential to succeed. Shift faster. So I guess just hammer shift repeatedly on that one. Stage 6. You want hang glide to the light area at the bottom of the screen. Turning too often is will lose height very rapidly and your glider is fragile. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me, feeling sniffy again. <coughs> Shift left and right, okay. Stage seven? My god, how far away is your beloved? That you've got to take these chocolates through all these stages. Is there not a shop near her? Could you not go and get some Ferrero Rocher instead? Information on stage seven. Ski through the flags which mark the safe ice. Miss the flags and you'll be in a bit of a spot. Shift left and right and down and faster. Eight stages! Dear god! Jump to catch the ski lift as it passes, then hold on till two reach the ledge on the right, then let go. I'm never going to remember all of this. Nine stages. Nine! We've counted the stages and the stages are counting of nine. Nearly there. Manoeuvre. That's not how you spell manoeuvre. There's another E in there. Manoeuvre. Manoeuvre your parachute to land on the light area of the building and then you've made it. Easy, eh? Right. I think the lady can get her own milky sodding chocks. But let's give it a go. Enter. I've turned that volume down how many times and it's still deafening. Ooh. Just because I turned the volume down, you've gone in a huff with me, haven't you? Oh, for pity's sake. Well, it was a fun bit of reading instructions, wasn't it? Yeah, that's... That's not doing anything. Right, I guess I'm loading it up again, but loading up the second release tape and seeing if that one works. Back in a moment. Who oh boy, you don't know how lucky you are. This took forever to get going again. I don't know what's up with it. I don't know if I've got an iffy uh, cassette cable there, perhaps. But we finally managed to load up the second issue, reissue, or whatever you want to call it, of this. Um, I'm not going to go for the information. I'm going to go for just diving straight in and hope it works at this point, because, like I said, it's been quite a while for me here. Oh, stage one. Right, okay. What were the keys again? I can't remember any of this now. Oh. Oh, bum flaps. Hmm. That's disappointing. What's up with that then? Well. Hmm. That's a shame. I was looking forward to seeing what the hell that was all about. Well, I've not had a load fail for a while, so I guess this goes into that pile. But yeah, so, so any of you who have um, started watching recently, shall we say, you might not have seen the load fail where I, I load up a game and, and it fails to work, or I completely fail to load it in the first place. Um, yeah, this happens now and again. Um, this is what happens when you use real hardware, even when you're loading from uh, WAV files or SD cards or anything like that. Sometimes images and things just do not work. Sometimes old tapes don't work. And, um, well, there we go. If anyone's got a copy of um, And All Because for the Dragon 32 that they'd like to send to me, <laughs> give me give me a nod, because uh, I'm intrigued as to what it's like and knowing how these things go. Um, what was it now? Um, Giz a job. Stupid amount of money being asked for that on eBay. Yeah, it might be rare, but it's a terrible game. Yeah. <sighs> Some some people will collect things just because they're rare, not because they're actually worthwhile. I think that someone was asking for about eighty pounds for it, and he's like, "Whoa, no, 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 no! Have you played the game? 
oh, that doesn't matter, it's a rare game. It, it, no, 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 no. No, I'm not having any truck with that. It's got to be, to spend silly money on something, it's got to be worth it. It's got to be a good game that's worth, but, you know, silly money. But, uh, mm, he says silly money. Now, I, I've never paid silly money for anything, because uh, that would be silly, wouldn't it? I, I find other ways to be silly. Like, trying to play dragon games that don't want to play. Hmm. Right, well, I, I guess I'll have to knock this one out of the head until I can find another copy of it somewhere. And uh, then, then we'll try again. But in the meantime, uh, that was a um, unfortunately failed attempt to uh, play um, And All Because on the Dragon 32. Um, hope you enjoyed watching what there was of it. <laughs> I'll catch you on the next one, maybe. Ta-ta!